morning everybody. I'm just here um, walking in Dublin and I wanted to share with you some of the thoughts I had for today that I was thinking and it's, here's a quotation that springs to mind. Enjoy everything, need nothing. If you can enjoy every, if you need nothing, you can enjoy everything. It's talking about attachments. Uh, when you need something, you cling to it. If it's in the past or if it's going away, or if it's in the future, you're anticipating it. You're uh, grasping at it. You're striving and you're stressing and you're putting in effort. For me, spirituality is really about letting go and getting rid of effort. Even getting rid of is, is a wrong word uh, because it's not an, an effort of getting rid of effort, it's, it's a releasing of effort. So when you live effortlessly, effortless living, even resistance is effort. So living in a complete surrender is, is living in non-effort because resistance is effort. We might, we've been conditioned now that we resist everything nearly all the time. So acceptance seems like effort. But that's funny because really acceptance is non-effort. Um, it's, it's, it's not actually putting in the thoughts and the effort and the energy of resisting so so let's this video is about getting rid of effort all effort complete effort and 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 melting into the present moment when you drop effort that also means you are dropping that also means that you're dropping your anticipations of the future because you're no longer putting in an effort to try and get what you need what you're attached to it's a releasing of attachments it's a releasing a releasing of resistance and you could even say it's a releasing of judgments because Putting in those thoughts of, of negativity and criticism and condemnation, that's an effort. And that's really linked with um, resistance too. Resistance and judgment go hand in hand. Like, this is bad, this is wrong, this shouldn't be happening. These are thoughts and feelings, but it's resistance and it makes you feel bad, uh, uncomfortable. It makes you feel uneasy and tense. So when you drop the effort, you get the opposite, which is beautiful. You, you get to you get to relax. You get to feel ease and, and relaxation. And um, and that's what spirituality is all about: feeling good and not stressed, but but really happy, peaceful, and relaxed and um, calm. And unstressed. Hey, how's it gone? Hi. So, so dropping effort is marvelous. So you can watch effort in yourself. Watch the effort that your mind is making to think critical thoughts and to judge and to resist the present moment. That's another benefit of releasing effort. You're no longer totally preoccupied with the past. You're no longer clinging and onto past. Stuff, you're no longer bogged down with accumulations of the past and you're no longer completely lost in your anticipations of the future so when you're no longer bogged down with accumulations of the past and anticipations of the future what does that mean it means you get to see and relax into the present moment a few people are looking at me <laughs> well just passers-by but you get to enjoy comes back to the quotation need nothing enjoy everything so you don't need anything it's okay you relax 
you're not distracted by time anymore, anticipations or, or accumulations. Now you can relax into the, and the present moment. It's a complete melting because it's almost like you're floating, um, like, like a tumbleweed in the wind. And you get to... You get to enjoy the present moment. And you, you, you probably become more aware uh, well, of everything. And therefore you can enjoy the, pre the, the moment and see the beauty. It's just marvelous. Just letting go of effort is the biggest thing. And the spiritual seeker can put in a lot of effort also, by the way. Trying so hard, you know, that's what effort is. Trying too hard, trying so hard. There's a tension involved. The spiritual seeker puts in effort into getting a good meditation, into feeling an old peace and, and wonderful experience that they once had. They want to they have this accumulation bogging them, bogging them down. They want to relive an old wonderful experience of, of, of inner... Like, oh. And they're striving and making efforts to get that again. So just release that, see it and let go of it. Whatever way you're feeling now, that's fine. That's okay, and accept that, and allow it to be. Okay, and that's that feels ease, not tense, not uneasy, and it feels relaxed. So it's about what Adi Ashanti talks about: the acceptance, uh, non-resistance, letting go, and what Eckhart Tolle talks about: non-judgment, non-attachment, and non-resistance. So for me, I'd summarize it, let go of all trying so hard and effort and let this be your continual spiritual practice and, and meditation. So it's part of your life. It's not like a meditation where it's in the morning or the evening, which is separate to your life. It's always in your life. It's integrated in your life. And anytime you feel tense, or uneasy, then you know that you're putting an effort, trying too hard with something. You're you're resisting in some in some way or another. And this is a good thing that you feel uncomfortable. Uh, and use it for so-called awareness, for enlightenment, for letting go. And that's magical. Um, so that that's my message for today. Whatever way you feel or whatever is happening let go of the, the big inner effort and strain to try and control and to change it. You can take action on the outside, but first of all, let, it, let your action be born and come from a place of no effort, no tension, no unease, and, and acceptance of what is. It's living in constant surrender. That's what I'm doing in my life, and it's, it's, I'm going deeper and deeper into letting go of effort. And letting go of trying to struggle to control anything or everything, anything. Deeper and deeper living in ease and relaxation. That's what it's all about. That's what the end result is. Ease, peace, and relaxation and happiness. So anytime you don't feel any of these things, look within. Yeah. All right, folks, that's my message for today. Um, this is a, an enormous, huge message. So hold it at heart and, and use this from now on forever in your life to let go of effort and trying so hard and the need to control and to get what you want, okay? Peace and love and non-effort and not trying so hard and the enjoyment of life. Need nothing, enjoy everything. Let go of past accumulations and future anticipations. Just now. It's all okay now as it is. Things should be as they are. It's, it's all good.
see you again, alright? Bye. Have a nice day. Bye.